hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss uh, how we can uh, convert the lfs to the indexes so and when we will be converting the lfs to the indexes so basically when we have an uh, lf uh, defined on a pf that is a keyed lf which means if it has a key on even a single column whether it's a unique or not unique so if it has a key then we can convert that lf to the respective indexes in sql so when we are uh, modernizing the lf so we will be converting performing the conversion of keyed lf into the indexes and uh, that's what i will be doing here so i'm going to show you the demo that how we can do this let's start so let's have some dds so this is going to be your dds let's say move the unique thing i don't need the unique thing here in uh, the dds file so this has two fields um, one is character another one is uh, numeric uh, this pf has text column heading for both the fields and a record format name as well so let me compile this so this uh, table does not have any key so let's create an lf over this lf1 let's change the attribute to lf so what i need to do is i need to use p file keyword reference that lf and all these things are not required since they will be inherited from the pf itself so i don't need this so this this is going to be lf so let's have some key here now because we need to convert that to the indexes fld1 so this is uh, non unique key simple key that is not unique let's have another uh, in lf now this is going to be a unique key so we'll be using the unique keyword let's compile these two lfs dspft dds8 lf1 unique so unique is no here and the key field is field1 dds lf2 unique unique is yes here and dds and the key field is field1 so now let's transform this dds to the uh, uh, corresponding ddl table or indexes because these are keyed lfs so let's make it ddl11 so here i am creating a ddl11 table having uh, the field field 1 and field 2 and we remove the unique thing that is we don't have the unique key in the table itself and this is going to be the record format and here change the table name for this column heading and for this text too and just here going to rename this from ddl11 to long name table ddl11 to this ddl11 now you can now you can see we have some extra things here that is the long column names long table name as well which we are renaming to ddl11 at last and uh, we have the same uh, column headings or same text uh, same as the dds8 so and the record format too let's compile this we'll be using run sql statement command to compile this
of given the wrong wrong name work object ddl11 so this is created now let's create the indexes So I don't need this all these things. Let's create an index create index long name index eleven on the table DDL eleven. And give the field name as field one, which is going to be a key, and we can also provide the record format here. Uh, DDS eight. Now let's rename this index. That's why we will be using rename index. Long name. In index eleven to system name DDL eleven. IDX one. You can see. The index is created. Let me show you DSP FD information for the same DX1. First thing is it is based upon DDL11. Another thing is whether it's a unique index or not. So you can see it's not a unique index, but it has a key field field one. So that's same as. This is same as. This one, first LF LF one. So we have uh, basically converted this LF, which is a non-unique keyed LF, to the respective index. Now we'll be converting this unique keyed LF to the respective index. That is a unique index now. So what we will be doing here? There is a small change required in the same index. So. Instead of creating a normal index, we will be creating the unique index. Create unique index. Long name. Let's say change the name unique index on DDL11. This one and this is the record format. Rename index. Long name. To IDX2. The simple thing we need we need to use the unique keyword here and just compile this. You can see. Let's check for this too. So this is the dependent file on DD11 and let's search for unique. So this is a unique index. Yes. And the key field is field one. Now I cannot delete this PF. So once I would not be deleting all the dependent on that PF, I cannot delete the indexes. Let me show you uh, the same from the STRSQL. Select star from DDL11. So this is the long column column name. If I do Shift F7, I would see the short column name. Just do F11. You'll see you will be seeing the text, and this is the column heading. So if I'll do the same on ID X1, I would not be able to to select here. This because this is not a table, not a view, or not a logical file. Even I cannot do on on any of the indexes. But I can take F4 here to check 
what all uh, what are all fields here just can do f11 here shift f7 here check field short name that is system name or the long names available so this way you have seen that how we transform the lfs to the whether it's a unique key lf or it's a normal key lf to the respective indexes in the sql so so you got to learn that how we'll be converting the uh, lfs to the indexes so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time